In recent years, there has been a surge in the development of affordable electronic vision enhancement systems, and practitioners are all aware that an increasing number of our visually impaired patients are inquiring about electronic devices. Most households now have access to a personal computer, and a growing proportion of the population, both young and old, are skilled computer users. Arguably, low vision practitioners should now consider expanding their service to routinely demonstrating this indispensable collection of magnification aids. The concept of all electronic enhancement devices is the same regardless of the technology. The image is captured, digitally enhanced, and reproduced upon the screen. The quality of the image reproduced is largely dependent upon the quality of the product components, from the camera or sensor that captures the image to the screen resolution. This short presentation will review the basic principles common to all electronic devices illustrated by Eschenbach's two portable handheld systems, the Mobilux Digital Touch HD magnifier and the Smartlux Digital magnifier and will touch upon how the advent of digital technology has improved the scope and functionality of this range of low vision devices. With computer literate patients boosting the demand for electronic magnification systems, the driver for any successful device has been the simplicity of its design. The less complex the device, the easier it will be for a visually impaired user to use. This presentation will cover a number of features, including, first of all, the basic functionalities of design, the range of available magnification, the benefits of the flat field of view, and maintaining a binocular view or binocularity. I'll also discuss maintaining a normal posture and working distance and using the spe correct spectacle lens correction. There are additional features unique to digital systems that are also mentioned, primarily image enhancement and image reversal. Electronic magnification comes under a number of names, including projection, transverse or display magnification. From a practical standpoint, the larger the screen size, the larger the image may also be reproduced. In this picture, Eschenbach's Smartlux digital magnifier is placed over a column of print in a magazine. The image is then captured and then digitally reproduced as the magnified image upon the screen. Technically, high levels of magnification are possible, but to produce a practical device that is portable with a large screen is a challenge for designers. The Smartlux digital, however, benefits from a larger than average screen size for a portable device. The magnifier has three simple tactile colour-coded buttons and a single on-off button. In the picture, the device is in stand-alone mode, with the stand on the underside fully extended. The device is sitting directly over the text, with the camera placed centrally on the underside of the device. When the smart locks is switched on, two strong LED lights on the underside evenly illuminate the page. These lights may be dimmed or switched off altogether for those who suffer from glare sensitivity or when the device is being used on a highly reflective surface such as a glossy magazine. In the picture, a high quality image is produced in full colour mode and is displaying five times magnification on a non-reflective five inch liquid crystal display screen. The Smartlux Digital offers a larger than average range of magnification compared to similar products, offering up to 12 times magnification. With digital displays, the larger the size of the screen, the more words will be in view at any one time. This is termed the field of view. With a larger than average screen size, the Smartlux offers a good field of view for a portable device, even at the higher levels of magnification. The screen is now displaying 12 times magnification of standard sized print. Another advantage of this flat screen view is that the viewer may then adopt a normal viewing posture and also maintain a binocular view when both eyes can be used together. This offers superb viewing comfort. When patients adopt a normal posture for viewing the screen, it follows that they would benefit from the spectacle correction for that distance. 
In this case, the patient's reading glasses should ideally be worn. One of the main advantages of digital magnifiers is that poor or low contrast print may be digitally enhanced and reproduced in a higher level of contrast, that is, made more black and white. Most significant of all is the benefit of then reversing the contrast altogether, seen here in the picture. A large number of visually impaired users benefit from this reverse contrast mode. With the black background, there is a reduction in the excess reflected light entering the eye, reducing glare and improving the eye's overall retinal sensitivity to the object or print in view. In addition to the reverse contrast mode, several colour options may be available. With the SmartLux Digital, a black on yellow option may be subjectively preferable for a number of patients. The retractable stand may be flipped completely out of view and the magnifier may then be used as a handheld digital magnifier. With a great depth of focus, the image is automatically maintained in sharp focus upon the screen. The device may be held in either the left or the right hand. The stand can also be used to create an option where there is enough space for a pen to be placed beneath the device. The smart locks can be used in this way even at the higher levels of magnification. Over recent years, the demand for portability has driven the design of an increasing number of devices that are lightweight and are as portable as handheld optical magnifiers. Portable systems are targeted for flexible day-to-day -day tasks for use in different locations. For both short tasks such as checking medication to more sustained reading tasks such as reading the newspaper, such devices provide a relatively inexpensive functionally excellent and cosmetically acceptable method of magnification. The second of Eschenbach's digital magnifiers is based upon their popular optical handheld magnifier, the Mobilux LED. The Mobilux Digital Touch HD, seen here in the picture, weighs only 230 grams, a similar weight to a glass of water. And with a comfortable, ergonomic design, it sits well in the hand, the device boasts a high quality image displayed upon a 4.3 inch non-reflective touch screen. The magnifier may also be placed directly on the page. This will improve image stability for those with hand tremor. The touch screen buttons seen in the picture are simple to navigate. In addition to altering the level of magnification, the buttons offer the viewer a number of in screen enhancement functions that improve viewing comfort. Due to the generous depth of focus, the magnifier may be held at varying distances from the page and will still retain a sharp image upon the screen. Like the SmartLux Digital, the camera is positioned centrally on the reverse side to the screen. The LED lights can also be switched off when the device is being used on highly reflective surfaces. The range of magnification will increase from four times through to 12 times magnification, which is a greater range of magnification offered compared to other portable devices of this size and weight. Using the red touchscreen button, the colour of the text may be altered to suit the viewer, seen here as black text on a yellow background, or reversing the contrast to offer yellow on a black background. With the Mobilux Digital Touch HD, there are five viewing modes in total, including full colour, enhanced contrast black on white, and the popularly used white on black and reverse contrast modes. One of the most common complaints from patients when using high levels of magnification when reading is navigation, when patients struggle to find the beginning of the next line. In the Mobilux Digital Touch HD, a reading line may be introduced which many users find useful to assist with this problem. Another feature that assists in navigation is the option to isolate a single line from the rest of the text. 
Being able to isolate a line in this way also improves reading performance in a similar way to you using reverse contrast print. It is particularly useful for those patients who are photosensitive or who suffer from media opacities such as cataract when the excess light is scattered within the eye causing a reduction in vision. Finally, the Mobilux Digital Touch HD offers the added function of being able to install a secure digital or SD card, allowing the device to take and save high quality photographs. These images may then be displayed upon a computer screen. In this mode, the device can also be used as a magnifier again and with connection to a larger monitor allows for even higher levels of magnification. Lightweight and practical, the Mobilux Digital Touch HD is highly portable with the look and feel of a simple handheld magnifier. The advancements and improvements in the quality and efficiency of components in recent years have widened the use of electronic magnification. As relative costs reduce and portability improves, it is predicted that domestic use will become more commonplace. Electronic devices continue develop to develop rapidly and their popularity is increasing year on year, but their principles, like optical magnification, remain essentially the same. As the population continues to age, the number of individuals who develop a visual impairment continues to steadily rise. Macular degeneration, in spite of significant advancements in treatment and intervention, still continues to be the most prevalent cause and will be here for some time yet. Most of us have in some way been touched by the devastation that visual impairment can make upon an individual's quality of life, whether young or old. These four presentations that have covered hand magnifiers, stand magnifiers, hand-free solutions and electronic devices have discussed the properties, uses and overall the great advantages of using light and magnification as an assistance to reading that in some way, large or small, may restore a degree of independence for those who suffer from an impairment of their vision.